Hi folks, in this video we're going to look at how you can use conditional formatting to highlight an entire row in a table, just like you can see here. This particular table I've linked to the new Google drop down chips here as well, so we can just choose something from our list here and it automatically changes. I'll link a card in the description box above to show you how to do this as well. But in this video I'll show you how to do it from scratch and also to tie it to one of these drop down chips as well. So let's get stuck in. If we jump over to this tab here, this doesn't have any of the conditional formatting applied to it, but I have set this up already. But as I say, check that, that video out to see how that's done. Okay, so what we need to do is we want to highlight the range of data. We're not interested in the, um, the titles at this stage. So if you just highlight the first couple of rows in the data and then use a command shift or a control shift and the down arrow on your keyboard, you can highlight everything in one go. And from there, you can bring up the conditional formatting menu one of two ways. You can either right click and go to view more cell actions and you'll see conditional formatting here. Or if you go to the format menu, you can see it here as well. So either way, we'll bring up this side pane here. So the conditional formatting will be applied to all of this range here, which is everything we selected. And what we want to do is we want to choose a custom formula so that we can highlight the entire row. And so what we're going to do in here is we're going to say equals, in our case, we want to look for, let's have a look for the author. So we're going to look for this particular author here, Colleen Hoover. So we want to look in the C column. So we're going to say C2. So this is where we're starting. We're saying, have a look in C2. And if that equals Colleen Hoover, like that, then you can see it's highlighted just one cell at this moment in time, but they do match up to where it's found Colleen Hoover. And so this is the magical key to getting this to highlight the whole row like this. What you need to do is before the C, you need to add a dollar sign. And what that does is that locks the column C. And so it applies it to the whole row in this case. So that's the trick to highlighting entire rows like that. And of course you can change the color of this rows you can use the defaults that we've got here or you can choose your own color from the menu there so that's the easy way to do it but if you want to tie it to something like this with a drop down then what we can do is we can actually choose something from here and this will automatically change so let me show you how that's done so clicking anywhere in this table right now we can bring up the format menu and conditional formatting again we have the rule set already so we can just adjust this rule so in here, instead of hard coding something like this in, we can specify, let's just scroll across here. This is the cell we want. So we want H1. Now you'll notice when I enter that in there, nothing happens. It just highlights this one cell here. And the reason for that is because we need to lock this H1 position. So we're going to put the dollar sign in front of the H and in front of the one. And then what that does is that highlights all of those rows for us as before. And so now what we can do, if we close this, we can come along and choose something from this drop down menu and it automatically updates those rows in the table. So it's a really handy tool to, to bring definition to something in your table you want to draw attention to. Give it a go, it's really easy. So I hope you like that video guys. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. But for now that's all. Thanks for watching folks.